Scene script. Picture this. A major aircraft manufacturer, instead of physically testing every single prototype, creates a digital twin of their new model, running thousands of simulations to perfect the design. This isn't a sci-fi movie plot. It's the reality of today's industries, thanks to the concept of digital twins. Now, imagine the amount of time, resources and money saved by this approach. It's a game changer, right? This is the kind of disruptive transformation digital twins bring to the table. The concept of digital twins is revolutionizing industries across the board, from manufacturing and engineering to healthcare and urban planning. It's like having a crystal ball that provides a real-time look into the workings of physical objects or systems, but with the added advantage of being able to play out what-if scenarios without the risk or cost of real-world consequences. Let's go back to our aircraft manufacturer. By creating a digital twin of their new model, they can run thousands of tests and simulations virtually. They can tweak the design, test stress factors, even simulate extreme weather conditions, all within the safe confines of a digital environment. This not only speeds up the development process, but also ensures a safer, more efficient product. But it's not just about the big manufacturers. Digital twins are democratizing the industry. Small and medium enterprises can now compete with the big guns, thanks to the cost effectiveness and scalability of digital twins. And the applications are endless. Imagine a city planner creating a digital twin of an entire city, running simulations to optimize traffic flow or predict the impact of a new development project, or a doctor creating a digital twin of a patient's heart to predict the outcome of a surgical procedure. In the realm of digital twins, the line between the physical and digital world blurs, opening up a world of possibilities. It's a digital revolution, and we're all part of it. So what exactly is this groundbreaking concept called a digital twin? Let's delve deeper. Opening, a digital twin is a virtual replica of a physical entity or system. But it's more than just a 3D model. In the realm of digital transformation, a digital twin is a dynamic virtual representation of a physical object or system. It's like having a mirror image in the digital world, reflecting the real-world counterpart's status, properties, and behavior. But let's break that down a bit more. A digital twin is composed of three core components. First, we have the physical entity. This could be anything from a simple object like a bicycle to a complex system like a manufacturing plant or even a city. The second component is data. A digital twin is constantly fed with data from its physical counterpart. This could be sensor data, operational data, environmental data, or any other kind of information that describes the state and behavior of the physical entity. The more accurate and comprehensive the data, the more faithful the digital twin becomes to its real-world counterpart. The final component is the virtual model. This is where the magic happens. The virtual model uses the data from the physical entity to recreate it in the digital realm. It's not just about creating a static 3D representation. Rather, it's about simulating the behavior and interactions of the physical entity in real time. Now you might be thinking, isn't this just like a computer-aided design or CAD model? Well, not quite. While CAD models are static and used primarily for design and visualization, digital twins are dynamic and interactive. They evolve with their physical counterparts, reflecting changes in real time and enabling predictive analysis and simulation. Closing. But how do we create these digital twins? What are the processes involved? Creating a digital twin involves the meticulous combination of sensor data, analytics, and simulations. Picture this. We're constructing a digital twin of a wind turbine. First, we install sensors on the physical turbine. These sensors gather data about the turbine's operations, such as wind speed, rotor rotation, and temperature. This real-time data is the lifeblood of our digital twin. Next, we use powerful analytics to interpret this sensor data. 
It's like translating a foreign language. The analytics give us insights into the turbine's operations, performance, and potential issues. Finally, we create a virtual model of the turbine using simulations. This model mirrors the physical turbine in a virtual environment, enabling us to predict, visualize, and test various scenarios. Imagine being able to predict a failure before it occurs or optimize the turbine's performance without any physical intervention. With these digital twins, the possibilities are endless. Let's explore some of them. From manufacturing to engineering, digital twins are revolutionizing the way we work. These virtual doppelgangers of physical objects and systems are not just making an impact in traditional industries, but also in areas we might not expect. In manufacturing, digital twins are changing the game. Imagine a production line, each machine humming away in harmony. But what if one machine starts to falter? In the past, this could lead to a domino effect of problems, potentially halting production and causing costly downtime. But with a digital twin, we can predict such issues before they happen. Sensors on the physical machine feed data to its digital counterpart, which can analyze it in real time. If a problem is detected, the digital twin can alert us to take preventive action, saving time, money, and a lot of headaches. But that's not all. Digital twins also enable virtual prototyping. Instead of creating numerous physical prototypes, we can now test different designs in the virtual world. We can simulate different scenarios, stress tests, and much more, all without the need for a physical prototype. This not only saves resources, but also speeds up the design process. In the realm of engineering, digital twins are equally transformative. Let's take the design and testing of complex systems, for example. With a digital twin, engineers can simulate the behavior of these systems under various conditions, leading to more robust and reliable designs. Asset management and lifecycle planning are also enhanced. A digital twin can provide a holistic view of an asset throughout its life cycle, helping to optimize its performance and extend its lifespan. Beyond manufacturing and engineering, digital twins have potential in fields such as healthcare and urban planning. A digital twin of a human heart, for example, could help doctors to better understand a patient's condition, simulate different treatments, and even predict the outcome of surgeries. In urban planning, digital twins of cities could be used to simulate the impact of various factors such as traffic flow, weather patterns, and population growth. This could lead to more sustainable and livable cities. Yet, with all these benefits, it's important to remember that digital twins also raise ethical considerations and privacy concerns. After all, they involve the collection, storage, and analysis of vast amounts of data, some of which may be sensitive or personal. As we harness the power of digital twins, we must also ensure that we're using them responsibly. As we can see, the applications of digital twins are vast and transformative. But what does this mean for us? Well, it means that we have a powerful tool at our disposal, one that can help us to optimize performance, improve designs, and make better decisions. Whether in manufacturing, engineering, healthcare, or urban planning, the potential of digital twins is only just beginning to be realized. The impact of digital twins is far-reaching, touching upon every aspect of modern life. This innovative technology has already begun to transform industries, from manufacturing and engineering to healthcare and urban planning. But with this rapid advancement comes a slew of ethical and privacy considerations that we must address. In the realm of digital twins, data is the lifeblood. It's the vital connection between the physical and virtual, providing a real-time snapshot of an object or system state. But this constant stream of data also raises significant privacy concerns. After all, in a world of digital twins, almost everything could be monitored and tracked in real time. Moreover, digital twin technology could lead to unprecedented levels of surveillance and data collection, potentially infringing on individual privacy rights. It's a delicate balance to strike, 
harnessing the power of digital twins while respecting the privacy of individuals and organizations. In addition to privacy, there are ethical considerations to ponder. For instance, in a world increasingly reliant on digital twins who owns the virtual representations, who is responsible for the accuracy and integrity of the data? And importantly, who bears the burden when things go wrong? These are complex questions without easy answers. They require thoughtful discussion, robust regulations, and perhaps even new legislation. But one thing is clear, the dialogue must start now. As digital twins become more integrated into our daily lives, we must ensure that they are used responsibly and ethically. So as we stand on the brink of this digital revolution, I encourage you to consider how digital twins could be applied in your field. How can they help you optimize processes, improve efficiency, and drive innovation? How can they help you build a more sustainable future? Digital twins are not just a trend, but a significant stride towards a more efficient and sustainable future. So the question isn't if we will use digital twins, but how soon we will adopt them in our respective fields. As we delve deeper into the realm of digital twins, it's paramount to remember the ethical and privacy considerations at play here. As much as digital twins hold the promise of revolutionizing our world, they also pose significant challenges that require our collective attention and action. In a world where data is king, it's crucial to ensure that our privacy rights are not trampled upon. As stakeholders in this digital revolution, it falls upon us to ensure that we strike the right balance between harnessing the power of digital twins and preserving our fundamental rights. It is a shared responsibility to ensure the integrity of the data, the ownership of the virtual representations, and the accountability when things go wrong. This also brings us to a call to action. We need to engage in conversations about these ethical and privacy considerations. We need to be part of the solution, not just spectators. Let's start the dialogue now. Let's be proactive in our approach to adopting digital twins in our respective fields. Let's use the power of digital twins to optimize our processes, improve efficiency, and drive innovation. But let's do it responsibly and ethically. This is not just about the present, but also about the future we are shaping. The question is not just about how soon we will adopt digital twins, but also about how responsibly we will do so. It's about the legacy we will leave for the generations to come. And remember, your voice matters. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more informative content. And don't hesitate to leave a comment below with your thoughts on digital twins. Let's shape the future of digital twins together.